this is a loaded question, admittedly, but you know, where does an entrepreneur start as far as building a personal brand? There's lots of different takes on personal branding and how important it is and how you do it. And you read a lot about this on LinkedIn these days. Do you have any thoughts or suggestions to entrepreneurs who want to build a personal brand, but they don't know where to start? Oh my gosh. I have so many thoughts about this. Mm -hmm. I, I love this. I accidentally built a personal brand. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't have the intention to do it, but what's happened since I realized it and really started putting time and energy into it, it's just been exponential growth, both for my consulting business and from a, a personal and professional perspective, I've created friends and I call them my LinkedIn family. <laughs> right. These are people who will come to my children's weddings. Like this is, it's crazy making friendships and finding friends as an adult is really hard. And it's amazing how this happens when you start to build a personal brand on a platform like LinkedIn. And I really think that LinkedIn is, is the magic for that right now. There are a few things I would encourage you to look at people like Josh Braun and Casey Graham have created just an absolutely amazing blueprint for how to build a personal brand as an entrepreneur. And a lot of times what I hear from people, and I, I teach courses on this, and I hear it, they're like, I don't want to put out content. I feel uncomfortable with that. I don't know what to say. It's really hard. And what I always tell them is you can build a personal brand and a huge network that will benefit both you personally and your business without ever putting out one piece of content. If you're in LinkedIn and you are building out a network of people who are your potential buyers and potential investors and, and customers, and you're looking at their content and making real authentic, impactful comments that's adding to the conversations that they're starting, that goes a long way. I mean, I make probably on average over a hundred comments a day on LinkedIn. And that's because the information that other people are putting out is really, really interesting. It's insightful. But again, it puts me in front of people I'm not even connected with, second level, right. who I don't have to pay for. So the way that I do it is pretty easy. I make a list of people I want to connect with. I go into their LinkedIn profile to the activity page, and then I bookmark that. And every day I go into all of my bookmarks. I learned this from Ariel Lee. This is not something that I made up. Ariel is an amazing person to follow. But every day I open up every single one of those bookmarks. I look at what they've been commenting on or what they've posted, and I make my own comments. And not any of that autofill bullshit. Like... If somebody announces that they get a new job, then you need to you need to jump in there and say like, this is really exciting. What are you most pumped about? Or I like to say like the strategical folks at wherever you're going to work are making the right decisions. If people are posting information about sales and marketing, find an article that really speaks to that topic and paste it in there and say, you know, tag some people and say, hey, like this mirroring what this article in Forbes said and start to make other people like, contribute to the conversations there. I think that you'll find that without ever posting one piece of content, you build a brand that gets people to start to come to you and say, Hey, you're, you're smart and you're insightful and you obviously know what you're doing. And I'd like to learn more about what you're doing. And maybe I'd like to invest in the company that you've started, or maybe I'd like to buy the product. Or maybe I'd like to refer you to other people in my network who I know have this problem. And there are a lot of organizations that use LinkedIn as their number one lead generation tool by far for their salespeople and for their founders. And if you, if you have, again, your sales and your marketing team working together to make sure that the message that you're putting out there is impactful, then you're going to have a win every time.